I'm gonna share with you three extremely easy ways to differentiate between an arachnids like a scorpion and insects like grasshoppers, ants, and dragonflies. Selamat pagi! And how are you doing? Fantastic, I hope. Are scorpions insects? To put it simple, no. And that's it for this video. Smash that like button. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm messing with you. Scorpions are not insects. They are arachnids. Arachnids and insects are actually very far apart in terms of taxonomy. How far? Let me try to put it into perspective. Taxonomically speaking, pandas and humans are actually more closely related than scorpions and grasshoppers, for example. Yeah, that far. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three extremely easy ways to differentiate between an arachnid, like a scorpion, and insects, like grasshoppers, ants, and dragonflies. We cool? Number one, this is basically the easiest and for me, the best way to differentiate between an arachnid, like scorpions, and insects like grasshopper. And that is count the number of legs. Insects like grasshoppers have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. While arachnids like scorpions have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. And that is basically method one. Easy, right? So next time when you are not sure whether something like a scorpion is an insect or arachnid, just count the number of legs you will get your answers. Number two, count the number of body segments. Insects like mosquitoes, cockroaches, and grasshoppers have one, two, and three body segments. These body segments include the abdomen, the thorax, and the head. Arachnids like scorpions only have two body segments. These body segments include the abdomen and the cephalothorax. Cephalothorax is basically the head and the thorax being fused together. Or in short, arachnids do not have a dedicated head. Only insects have a dedicated head. And that is method two. Method number three, look out for antennas. Insects like grasshoppers, butterflies, and moths have antennas, while arachnids like scorpions do not have antennas. Bonus fun fact, did you know scorpions take care of their youngs? After giving birth, the mother would place the baby scorpions on her back. The mother would take care of the babies until the baby scorpions are ready to leave the mothers. Motherly care also exists in the arachnids world. I don't know about you, but I find this very beautiful. Don't you agree? And congratulations, you now know how to differentiate between an arachnid like scorpions and insects like locusts. To recap, if you are unsure whether something like a scorpion is an insect or an arachnid, just count the number of legs, count the number of body segments, and lastly, look out for antennas. You will find your answers. So, what about spiders then? Are spiders insects? Watch this video here to find out. And that's it for this video. If you would like to support this journey in creating a nature and conservation related channel, please don't forget to pinch that like button and subscribe for more videos. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Jumpa lagi!